Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new typography tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create displacement typography animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So before we start this tutorial, make sure to watch the previous tutorials in this series as we are going to use the same techniques in this tutorial as well. So hopefully they are going to be very useful for you guys. And as you see here, I have this text layer. So I'm going to pre-compose this and just rename it to typo01 and then open it. And so I'm going to use here the crop tool just to crop these text right here and composition and crop comp to region of interest and let's center these here and then back to the main comp right here and then i'm going to use cc reptile so basically this effect is the same as motion ties so here you can uh, basically just repeat whatever you have right there so we're going to repeat that on all directions so the only difference between these is this tiling style. So the difference between uh, CC wrap tile and motion tile is that you can see uh, changing the look. So let's just zoom out this a little bit so we can see here. So let's put there 5,000 on each direction so we can cover the whole comp right here. So basically here you can see how we are changing the look of this tiling which can be very useful so hit r for rotation and let's just rotate that a little bit and then i'm going to add turbulence displace to get some turbulence effect here and it's not animating so we're going to add evolution animation using times times 100 so now we're going to have animation on here so let's preview this So as you see, that's what we got right here. So and now I'm going to duplicate these twice right here. And so let's solo the last one here and then just get rid of turbulence displace and just reset the CC Raptor for now and then hit S. Let's make it a little bit bigger in or to just uh, make these back to the original. So here, now I'm going to use the one below it, use it as alpha match. So basically uh, you can see anything here. And if we solo just this one here, now you can see we got our uh, text layer right there. So let's hit S and if we just make this smaller, you can see now the more this one is small, the more details we get right there. So here I'm going to keep this at 30 for now. And if we solo back this so we can uh, see both of them, you can see uh, things here doesn't look right. So this one is going to act like a background to fake the displacement map here. So let's hit S and we, we need to have the same value here. So I'm going to have 30 and you can see now you can see uh, this text layer here. And so let's hit T for opacity and just lower the opacity right here. So now we can see the foreground of this text. So here I'm going to keep that at 10 and let's preview this. So as you see, this looks pretty cool. And so now we can basically add animation to this text layer. So let's first expand these on left and right, just to have duplicates of these text. And let's hit P for position and just add a keyframe right here. So we want to, for example, to animate these from left to right. So let's expand that a little bit, just right there, and then add a keyframe right here and just animate that very simple animation here something like this and let's preview this again
Okay, so as you see, this is nice animation here and very straightforward. So now we want to stylize these a little bit. So basically you can add turbulence on these text. It's going to change uh, the look of the text, but basically you can still see, we still maintain here uh, the position of those letters. So you can uh, tell like we're uh, picking this displacement map here. So what I'm going to do now is add drop shadow here to create like a fall off for this. So here uh, you can't see that much, but what I'm going to do here is going to soft this and then just crank up that a little bit. So you can see here now we got some nice fall off. And if we just crank up this opacity here, you can see more. So if we Keep going here, you can like uh, spread that even more or expand it more. So we just want to keep that very subtle right there, something like that. So you can see here uh, the difference of these basically. So you can see it add a little bit of style right there. And of course you can change the direction of that if we just uh, move here the distance so you can add different cool looking there. So and now you can see we got everything here, but everything looks flat. So we want to add some variations on the look. So what I'm going to do here is open these type of zero one, and then I'm going to add opacity here. And then I'm going to sit there 50%. So you can see now what we got. And here we have range selector. So basically we can animate that opacity right there. So I'm going to put that to 50%. So it's in the middle right there and then advanced. And here we have randomized orders. So you can see now we have randomized that opacity. So you can just see uh, how it looks. So I'm going to keep that 50% here and uh, just like that I want it. And of course you can here just offset that if you want to and so on. So just going back right here and you can see now we have very cool looking uh, variations right there. So basically we need maybe to make these a little bit smaller. So let's go for 20 here. So you can see now uh, we have these and maybe we're going to make this text a little bit bigger here. Something like this in maybe T for opacity and even lower that a little bit, something like that. And let's change your drop shadow as well. Just really, uh, just maybe around 15. And let's preview this again. Okay, so you can see how we changed the look right here. And of course, we can make these also got animation on it. So let's just duplicate this animator and uh, change here the second one. So maybe here we can just animate this offset using wiggle expression and then just let's put there two, maybe 100. And we're going to get very subtle animation here something like this. And we're going to get animation right here as well. So let's preview how this looks like. So as you see, with just few adjustments, you can see we got totally different look. And also I want to mention here that if you change here the tiling, you need to change it for both, for even this one. So you can see here, uh, they are not matching right there. So right here, I need to change that as well. And now you can see uh, the mapping or displacement map just got into place. So you can see also changing that, uh, it changed the look. So let's change that on the background. Let's make sure which one we choose here. So basically you can see we got different looks. So I'm going to stuck with these for now. Okay, so as you see, so now let's say we want actually to use images instead of this text uh, layer here. So I already have this one right here. So basically here, I just have few silhouettes uh, images here. So basically 
uh, these ones. So let's reveal this. So for example, this one right here, I'm going to solo that. So you can see here, uh, it's got alpha. So basically it's without alpha and we just extract the black right there. So doing that to all of others. So the same for this one and also the same for this one here using extract to extract that, except this one we invert this because uh, we will extract the blacks we got that, or you can just do um, the other way. So you get the idea what you can do here. So just extract the blacks or the whites to keep the alpha as you see here, and then just bring them all together on the same comp like you see in this example. So now what I'm going to do here is actually just replace these right here holding alt and you can see now we got these into place so maybe here we can just make these a little bit smaller right there and here we can have uh, let's basically animate these so let's hit B for position and just animate these you can see here something like this so you can keep this going animating so I'm trying to animate that slowly so here all you need to do is expand that to the right so maybe I will keep that just right there and let's preview this let's give it a little bit more time here and let's preview this again So as you see, this look pretty cool. So you can see um, here we have still that drop shadow you can control right here. And that's why we actually use alpha here. So here you can see we extract that to keep these uh, fall off right here. So basically if you use Luma, which I have right here, I just placed them against uh, black solid right there and invert some of, uh, for example, this one. I just invert that and just correct the black. So here, if I use these Luma version here, basically we're not going to have that. So let's first change that to Luma. We're going to get the same look, but we don't have the drop shadow effect. So basically that's the difference. And so I'm going to keep that with alpha here and turn this back to alpha. And now we can stylize this. So let's add here a null object. And I'm going just to parent all these to the null so you can maybe scale that down and so on. If you want to add some uh, more animation to all of these and of course we can uh, stylize this so I'm going to add adjustment layer and let's add here tint effect and so now we can just remap the color as well right here and so on the black I'm going to choose something like this maybe you can tell So basically you can see here because we need actually to create a solid. So let's create black and just put it behind. So now we can see that controlling that blacks right there. So you can just play with the colors. So you can see now we got different looks right here. You can actually add channel blur effects. And here let's play with these one, maybe just horizontal or vertical. So I'm going to keep these right here. Let's just try the blue right here to get some very cool looking right here. And if we just keep the channel blur, we're going to get some really cool effects looking right here. So that's it and hope this tutorial was very useful for you guys as always and if you have any questions just comment and I will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching.